Hello, I'm Sylvia Weinstock and I welcome you to my shop in Tribeca. And today I'm going to show you with the sugar dough that we make in the shop, how to make a petal and how these petals go around and around and the build up until you have something that looks like a rose. I'm going to make a rose for you, or at least the beginning of a rose. It takes almost a week to make a large rose because you're building petal on petal and this stuff is soft, so it takes time for it to dry. But I'm going to show you the beginning of a rose. So here is a piece of our sugar dough. We have to use a little bit of Crisco because it sticks to your fingers. So I make this and I make it into a pear shape. And now I pull out one side of it. And then I wrap it around. Make it thin. See, I'm keeping it, this, this, the shape is thick here, thin here, and then I wrap it around. And this becomes my bud. Now, after this is dry, and a lady can make, oh, 50, 60 of those a day, after that's firm and dry, then she starts making her petals. And her petals are made this way, by pulling it out, thin, She'll cut this off here, and she will start to build around her flower. And as she builds, this is very soft, so it's very difficult to do this. But this would be the beginning of a flower. For, and when we get finished with this flower, I will show you how large it, be, it can become. But you, you're, what you're doing is pulling it out with your fingers very carefully, thinning it out so that. So there you get the beginning of a rose. Now when that dries, it will be firm and hard. Let me show you a finished one. By looking at this, you begin to see how intricate it becomes. You start with a small bud and you wind your little petals around and around until you end up with big petals. Now this can be done only when you have your centers hard. This center is too soft for me to start building on. But if you were to work with it and let this dry tomorrow, you would start adding and adding. And the next day you'd add more and the next day after that until you get a flower this big. And my rose people can make 110 of these a week. Thank you for dropping in. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Uh, please tune in to foxnewsmagazine.com for more recipes.